This is Angelo with Lockernome here with a preview of OS 10.7 Lion. First of all, the finder has been redesigned as you can see here. It's lost a lot of the color on the left hand column. Other than that, it looks pretty much the same and behaves pretty much the same. Another notable feature is AirDrop, which lets you copy files to other Macs on the network. They have to have lines, so none are showing up here. Here's a look at the applications area. Looks pretty much the same as before, except you can see the scroll bars have been removed. They only appear when you start scrolling, and then they disappear once you let go of the mouse. This mimics the iOS behavior and saves a little screen real estate, since uh, most people don't grab the scroll bars anyway. Other than that, Finder looks pretty much normal. There's a few little animations that are added when you switch the views, but other than that, same old Finder that we're used to. One of the new APIs introduced in Lion is for app auto-saving and resuming their state. So as you can see here in text edit, if I want to start writing a document here, when I close the app and then reopen it, it'll be right where I left off. So I'm going to here go up here and quit text edit, then go back and reopen text edit, and as you can see, my document resumes its state exactly where it was when I left off. Next up is versions, which is kind of like a time machine for documents. If you open a document and click up on the upper right hand corner of the window and select browse all versions, it'll allow you to see your document back in time, earlier versions of it. In case you saved some changes that you didn't want to actually save, you can take the slider and move it back in time to select earlier versions of the document for editing. So as you can see here, I'm going way back to my earliest days of my Lion preview piece. I can click here on the restore button to restore the document and it'll just bring it back into text edit for editing. You now use three fingers to drag around spaces like their iPhone home screens and dashboard now has its own space. Instead of overlaying on top of your desktop it has its own space with a background image but other than that, the dashboard operates the same. You can add widgets from the bottom, just drag them onto the dashboard area. But overall, I think this is a better solution because it conserves space and makes the dashboard a separate thing. So let's use the three finger motion to go into the second space, which you can see has a separate wallpaper. We can also send Safari into full screen mode by pressing the button in the upper right hand corner of the window. Here it takes up the whole screen, and when you do send an app into full screen mode, it becomes its own space. So you can still use the three finger motion to swipe in to the first desktop space, or even the second one, but then just go back to the right to find Safari again if you wanted to do it. So let's, we want to go back to Safari here, you can just swipe left and then swipe left again, and then there's Safari back in its own full screen window. Two of the features Apple's talked a lot about are Mission Control, which is right here, which allows you to see an overview of all of your spaces and any full screen apps. Just click the space to go to it. And also Launchpad, which is similar to the iOS launcher. Click on here Launchpad on the dock and it'll show you a list of all of your applications that have been installed on the computer. It's a pretty convenient way to launch an app if you don't like to use Spotlight and provides a nice visual overview of all of the apps without having to go inside of the applications folder. You can drag the apps around to move them just like on iOS and then just click on an app to open it up in its new window. So here we're going to open up Chrome and there it goes. Easy enough to use and uh, probably help a lot of people who don't really know how to get to the applications folder. One last nice little touch I noticed was about this Mac, which has been redesigned to provide way more information. When you click more info, a new application opens with detailed information about your displays, your hard drive, and your memory, including what graphics cards you have installed, how much space is being taken up on each of the drives installed on your computer and what's taking up that space, as well as the memory pane, which shows you how many RAM slots your computer has, what kind of RAM is in them, and what kind of RAM your computer can take. This makes it much easier for the average user to access information about their computer for troubleshooting, and is much more convenient than digging through the system profiler screen for the information that you're looking for. For LockerGnome.com, this is Angelo with a first look at macOS 10.7 Lion.